Kính thưa quý vị, khán thính giả của chương trình Phố Bosa TV Hôm nay là ngày 11 tây tháng 10 năm 2014 Chúng tôi đang có mặt ở thành phố Pomona à, Khoảng chừng 45 phút lái xe cách Little Sài Gòn về hướng à, Đông Bắc à, Chúng tôi có mặt trong một cuộc triển lãm à, Mang tên California RV Show Tức là triển lãm những loại xe dùng cho những người thích đi cắm trại Đi khắp nơi mà rất là tiện lợi à, Bên cạnh chúng tôi là À, người bạn chúng ta là ông uh, George Carson là giám đốc giao tế của uh, chương trình này sẽ hôm nay sẽ dẫn uh, phố Bosa TV đi tham quan cũng như là uh, giới thiệu một số chiếc xe từ trong bên ngoài để cho thấy uh, cắm trại ở đây nó uh, tiện lợi như thế nào. Uh, hi George. Hi, nice to meet you and I'm really pleased that you're able to visit with us and we welcome Phố Bosa TV. Uh, we're going to have a tour. Can, can, can you tell us uh, what we go about uh, now? Yes, what we're going to do is we're going to take a quick tour and we're going to look at all the different kinds of RVs that are available. There's over 1,200 of them here. So we're in, interested in letting all of your audience see the kinds of things they can have when they out, go out camping. Let's start the tour, would we? Let's go. All right. <laughs> What you're seeing over there that you're shooting, that's an exhibitor's tent. And the exhibitor's tent has dozens and dozens of different types of aftermarket accessories that people can look for to enhance their RV. And as you can see, we have everything from motorhomes, and they, these are what they call the retro style. Winnebago has designed the 1960s and brought it back and made it a little bit more modern. It's all motorized, and then these are the big motorized RVs. These would be called like the Class Cs. And then the ones over to our left, those are what they call the large Class A motorhomes. They are like a house inside. They have fireplaces. All of them, ha all these uh, RVs, even the towables, have restrooms and all the conveniences in, of home. And this is a small area that we have which is all the antique people brought their old RVs. Many of them are towing the RVs with their antique cars. And again over there, you have the Class Bs, and those are built on a Mercedes-Benz uh, chassis. And those will go for anywhere from 126,000 to 150,000. These are what they call towables, and these are fifth wheels. That means they have a truck that you would hook it to so you can tow it to your campground. And some of them have patios that they actually can sit out on and enjoy the outside. And you can see these things that are called slide outs, which adds depth to the room. They actually open out after you've parked your RV to make it wider inside. So it gives you much more footage and a lot more space. And just like this are this ATV and motorcycles, these are what they call next to that trailer is a toy hauler. Those beds and those ca uh, those couches can be brought to the top and they fold so you can bring in your what they call toy hauler, whether it be a motorcycle, uh, any off-road vehicles. And this is another manufacturer. There's many manufacturers. This one is Fleetwood and they manufacture mostly all motorized Class A motorhomes. And they can start in the price range of anywhere from $60,000 up to $650,000. And again, to the left, you can see there's a lot of what they call toy haulers. California is very well known to have people go out to the desert and enjoy the outdoors 
with their motorcycles and their ATV off-road vehicles. And again, over to our left is another type of Class B motorhomes. And these are built on different kinds of chassis. Some of them are built on Mercedes-Benz. And basically, instead of having the large RV that they call Class A, the Class B fits in that category where it's like a minivan, but a little bit larger and has all the conveniences of home. Now one of the oldest manufacturers around is called Airstream. Airstream, if you can recognize these, these are the kind they used to see in the last 40 years, have the silver bullet shape they call it. And then here's another series of classic design. It's the old style look, but it's got all the new things inside it. And the show for your people when they come out, the manufacturer, Genesis Supreme, is actually building an RV that is just like the ones you see inside there. It's, an, it's a 19-foot trailer. Come to the show and understand what it's all about. So he thought it was kind of exciting that you're actually building an RV. This is what they do at the factory. They're doing it here at the show to show the people. Chúng tôi đang đứng trước một khu vực gọi là cái cái chiếc này gọi là chiếc toy hauler, tức là cái chiếc để dùng để kéo ở đằng sau. Uh, những cái chiếc xe để mang theo những cái vật dụng cần thiết uh, và ở đây rất là cụ thể là người ta trong những ngày diễn ra cái show người ta sẽ build tức là người ta sẽ xây dựng nguyên một cái chiếc này uh, từ đầu tới cuối ông uh, George sẽ uh, giải thích một chút xíu cho chúng ta George, uh, what are we uh, standing here? This is the beginning of how a toy hauler is built or any kind of trailer. So they're actually showing you the frame. It started the day before yesterday and they showed you from the bare chassis and how they put on the floors and how they do the cabinetry. They do all that stuff at the factory, but they're showing the people how it's all already built. This part of the trailer is going to be the bathroom. There's your tub, there's a sink over there, and there's going to be a shower. And all of this is being built at the show, which is really kind of neat to see. And it's all the great conveniences of having it on, you know, at your home. Showing you how they do all the plumbing, they do all the electrical, and you can see here's the back end of the cabinetry. They have everything where you can do all your storage from your towels to your linens to all your dishes, and there's even a kitchen sink. There's going to be a cooking range area, so it's all the things you need when you go out camping. It's just like bringing your house on wheels. Ông cho biết là uh, như chúng ta thấy đó là uh, đang xây dựng một cái cái chiếc xe như thế này một cách trực tiếp luôn và có rất đầy đủ tất cả những cái thứ mà chúng ta có trong nhà từ phòng tắm cho tới uh, phòng bếp uh, cho tới những cái nơi mà uh, cần thiết uh, trong gia đình. Kính thưa quý vị khán giả của chương trình Phố Bosa TV Như vậy là chúng ta vừa mới được ông George dẫn đi một vòng à, khắp cái khu vực này Để xem các loại à, à, xe, à, gọi là xe nhà à, như thế nào um, George, thank you very much for the tour, very special um, Can you tell us about the, the show please? Well, the show's been here for about 62 years, and what's really interesting about this show, it has a little bit of everything for everyone, and it's, there's over 1,200 different types of RVs to choose from, which is really exciting. There's a complete 51 manufacturers represented with 21 different dealers. So there's lots of things going on. There's everything from food and entertainment, as well as a fun day in the sun. There are different types of RVs, and the whole purpose of this show is to help the consumer have a chance to see from anything they want, from a small trailer and camper up to the large Class A's that look like a house on wheels. So it, there's a little bit of everything so that people have a chance to experience everything in one place. A big RV shopping mall is what it's become.
Uh, on the tour, you talk about uh, different type of uh, RV. Can you uh, briefly tell us uh, what is uh, how many uh, type of RV we have and, and what's the different uh, between uh, those uh, types? Okay, there are several different types, and we'll start off with those that are the non-motorized. The non-motorized are usually called an, a trailer, fifth wheeler, or towable. And those are the kind that you have to have a truck or a small car or a bigger car to tow, depending on the size and the length of those. And then they have the toy haulers. Those are the ones that are not motorized. Then you have what they call class A, B, and C. Class A are like the ones that are on the side of us here. Those are large, very large motorhomes that people see all the time. And they go from 30 feet to 45 feet. Then you have the class B which looks like a minivan that's modified to be able to, so you can stand up, but it has all the amenities inside, all of the appliances, and the restroom and all that. Then you have the Class C. Those are built on a truck chassis, and those allow people to have a little bit more space in there than the Class B, where you have a family of four or six, and they're bigger, and they go from maybe 20 feet up to 35 feet as well. Uh, very informative, very good. Um, the question our audience is going to ask, look very good, what about the price? What is the price range that we are expecting as a consumer? Well, there's all kinds of price ranges. Like I was saying on the small ones that are the non-motorized, the trailers and the fifth wheelers, you can get those from as low as maybe 15 to 25,000. And then they go back up to, on the non-motorized, the truck, the, uh, the ones that are trailer, they can get up to 75 to 85,000 to 100,000 dollars. When you get to the ones that have a motor in them, Again, depending if it's a Class A or B or C. The Class Bs, they can go again from maybe 45 to 65, up to 100,000. Then you get into the Class Cs. Those are the ones that we talked about that have like the overhead bedroom area, and they're built on a Ford chassis or Chevy chassis, truck chassis. Those can go anywhere from 50,000 to 80 to 90,000 dollars. When you get into the big Class As. Now you're pushing the price tag up there. That starts usually around seventy thousand. They go up to literally a million dollars. What is the most expensive uh, RV that presented here in the show? Well, right now the most expensive one. We have two different types. One of them is one that the customers can actually purchase. It's a company called Monaco, and it's for six hundred and forty-one thousand dollars. Then there's a company out here that actually will build, custom build a, an RV to your specifications, and he has one here that he personally built himself, and it's a million and a half dollars. Right. Um, usually in the U.S., who is usually the consumer, the customer for RV? It used to be the much older audience. It started before years ago with the older people over 50 years old. We're starting to see in the last three, four years, generations have changed and people of a younger generation and they're maybe it's their first marriage and they're in their early 30s. They either have started a family or have not. And they want to get out there and enjoy camping or enjoy the world and driving around. They can't maybe afford to fly to the Europe. They can't really maybe afford to do hotel and stay at all these luxury places. So a house on wheels like this is very affordable for them to enjoy it. So more younger people, I'd say between now the age of 30 up to 70 are the consumer market. Kính thưa quý vị khán thính giả của chương trình Phố Bosa TV, chúng ta đã được ông Josh dẫn đi vòng vòng à, khu vực triển lãm. Ông đã kể cho chúng ta nghe rất nhiều thông tin về liên quan tới à, à, những chiếc RV, những chiếc à, có thể gọi là chiếc, chiếc à, xe nhà như thế này. Và bây giờ chúng ta sẽ bắt đầu vào trong để mà xem uh, những cái uh, bên trong nội thất của những cái chiếc RV như thế nào. I just tell my audience you are already tell us very a lot of information now. We are about to explore the inside of the RV. Yes, we can look at one of the more expensive ones that's at the show and I think you'll be impressed to see they have everything from fireplaces to you name it. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> They still come with 45 inch flat screen TV. Some of them have more than one. This one here. Hello, everyone at Fobasa TV. I'm going to show you a tour on the inside of one of the luxury RVs that you'll get to enjoy. Welcome. Here's where we're going to show you some of the luxury 
RVs and the interior. This one has all plush leather upholstery, which is very subtle and it makes it very convenient because you want the pleasures of home. It even comes with a flooring that is all ceramic tile and all of the cabinetry is solid rose wood. It's not laminate, it's all solid. And it even comes with a full size, this one I think is a 42 inch color TV. As well as for at night, you've got the fireplace. That makes it really nice and romantic for those couples that like to enjoy and have a nice fireplace at home. And another thing that we have to show you is the kitchen area. You have a nice dinette, beautiful poster chairs, window shades that are all automatic that go up and down. And you have the, tea, the area for the kitchen to cook anything that you want that your heart desires. Beautiful is you've got all this counter space. You can lift off these tops and then you have the sinks. And all of the appliances are top range, just like you see a full range refrigerator. This is what they call a home size refrigerator. This one happens to be side by side. And many of these RVs come equipped with complete solar system. So you can enjoy your ride all around and so when you park you don't have to worry about using up your batteries. Even those that are not motorized have solar panels on the top. Here's one of the guest bathrooms. The bathroom is just enough for those guests that are visiting you on your, on your trip. Now we're going to enter the master bedroom. The master bedroom comes up with a full queen size bed, all the cabinetry that you want. Ladies can have a lot of racks for their shoes, a lot of drawers for storage, but even more important, you want to have the convenience of that nice bathroom. Look at this plush bathroom. Beautiful shower, complete ceramic tile all the way through, beautiful sink, cabinetry, Obviously we have the restroom area. And on top of all that, when you're traveling, you're wondering how do you get rid of all the dirty clothes? What do you do with them? Well, this comes with a washer and dryer. And you can see the cabinetry over here for people to hang up their clothes, as well as put anything of the dress ups that they want to have for the rough country or for the pleasure of going out and enjoying the night. This is just like a five-star hotel, and actually it goes with you all the way, so you don't have to just be at the hotel at one night or two nights. And then when you're lounging in your bed, and you just feel like just staying there and having your cup of coffee and want to watch TV, but you don't have to go outside. You've got your own full-size TV right in your bedroom. All the buttons are illuminated so you can see it at nighttime as well as during the day and you can tell what is on and what is going to be off. One of the neat things about any of these RVs that you find, you always have the heat. And how do you fight the heat? Well, you have air conditioning. And these come with beautiful air conditioning systems and heating for those cold nights. And some of the things that you may want to understand is these RVs are not just because they have a big queen size bed. They sleep up to six people. Many of the RVs have the other bedrooms inside the other parts of the room that we saw. The couches fold out and become beds. So you have the privacy of your own suite as well as the kids or those passengers you're bringing with you as friends. This particular RV costs $641,000. It actually comes with its own coffee maker as well as stovetop and the range as well as a convection oven. One of the beautiful things about buying any kind of an RV is they're registered like a home, like your second home. That means you can actually get financing just like you would on a home. So it makes it affordable and yet you have your house on wheels to go wherever you want to go. And the driver has all the conveniences and all the things he needs to know. There's everything from a map system that is all GPS as well as the backup cameras so he can see where he's going. You have the large rear view mirrors on the sides so you can also see what's happening. So there's no reason why you can't drive one of these RVs and not feel comfortable. And they have all the instrumentation right at their fingertips on the door side panel and all the instrumentation with beautiful hardwood finish. Yes. 
one of the things that people like is the new retro look. And this Winnebago is some, one of the new designs that they call the Brave. And it's built upon the old style of the 1960s. The front end is what they call the eyebrow. That's kind of the trademark of what that RV looked like and what people used to call it. They cleaned up the design to fit today's market and the retro look is really popular with new RVers. Now we're sitting inside that retro RV, the Winnebago. It's all plush looking too, has its time style as they did back in the 60s, but all the beautiful amenities that they have for today. This has two different types of deads. This top bed is motorized for either small children or a lightweight person. Then down here you have the queen size bed for the family. And right next to the bedroom, you have the bathroom. It has a small sink, a stand-in shower, and a toilet. The kitchen area works on this one particular, happens to be propane gas. So you have a beautiful top stove oven, and you have this double stainless steel sink with great appliances next to it. And you have a top range for the cooking, for just heating up anything that you want for a quick, for whether it be popcorn or just a nice little hot meal. Well they all come with a nice fully sized refrigerator, both for storing cold and ice. One of the unique features is if you have added guests that arrive and you need a place for them to sleep, well, look no further than this. That's it. The bed hides up on the top, and you have more area for people to sleep. One of the unique features is if you are having your spouse or a driver who does not want to do their navigation, they just slide the GPS over to the passenger. They can key in the location that you want to travel to, that person slides it back to the driver, and the driver now can see where he's going. This particular Winnebago has the ability to have what they call a slider. Sliders add more room because this whole section I'm sitting in actually slides out, and then it can be moved back in when you're driving. And it also converts into a bed. This is called a fifth wheel. Fifth wheel means that you can hook it into a truck bed. It actually connects to the inside of the truck bed, making it a towable type unit. One of the benefits of that is now you have your truck that you can drive around the campground, go to the store. You can use it as your regular car. You don't have to worry about having the trailer be with you all the time. It's really great when you have all kinds of things you want to store, anything from clothes to camping gear, You've got plenty of storage in all these kinds of units. People have designed all of their trailers to be maximized for every square inch so you can put everything from spare tires to clothes, anything you want. Let's go inside. What's unique about a lot of these is they'll even have an area space for your office. The person who wants to travel but still wants to stay in touch with their work, they can use their internet and they have the office desk area. Now you can come over here and you can enjoy your cup of coffee or your meal with your family and friends. And then you have the kitchen. The cook always likes to have a beautiful kitchen. And this is a perfect way that they can enjoy all the kinds of cooking that they need. Stove top, as well as sinks in the microwave range to do all of the kinds of different baking and cooking while you're on the road. Well now I'm enjoying and relaxing the living room area. This is a fun time to have and just enjoy, sit back, watch TV, have somebody make some popcorn, and we're good for the games. Another great feature, almost all of these motorhomes have a queen size bed, plenty of storage and cabinetry as you see here, and a beautiful solid wood cabinets over here for your, all your appliance, uh, for all of your sleeping goods and anything that you want to have to relax. And then for your own pleasure, there's another TV in the bedroom. Kính thưa quý vị khán thính giả của chương trình Phố Bồ Sa TV Như vậy là chúng ta đã được đi một vòng à, khu uh, triển lãm nhà xe Và đã được ông uh, George Lê Đốc giao tế của uh, cuộc triển lãm này uh, Trình bày với chúng ta rất nhiều thông tin bổ ích uh, về những uh, chiếc xe 
để cho những người thích uh, camping, uh, đi cắm trại cũng như là đi uh, những cái hoạt động uh, giả ngoại uh, bên ngoài. Uh, thank you very much uh, for showing us today. Take a lot of time from uh, from your schedule, and hopefully uh, a lot of uh, our audience gonna be interesting on this and uh, uh, will follow uh, your show in the future. Uh, can you uh, tell us uh, how um, to uh, to uh, to get more information about the show, uh, this show as well as the uh, the, uh, the the shows in the future? Okay. Yes. Uh, first of all, I want to thank you, Land. This has been very exciting for us, and we're hoping that your audience really got a chance to be exposed to what RVing is all about. And we want to thank both of TV for giving us this opportunity as well. One of the things you can do is the website is called The Best RV Show. And if you type that in, you'll find a lot of information on the show. This show runs until October 19th. We're planning on having another one in the spring of April, around the 15th of April. We're going to post that on the website as well. But please have an opportunity to visit the website. Again, we thank you. We enjoyed having you, and we're looking forward to everyone in your audience to have a chance to experience this. Chúng ta sẽ tạm biệt ông George ở đây và cũng như là chấm dứt cái À, buổi tham quan à, cuộc triển lãm về những chiếc xe, những chiếc xe nhà à, ở đây. Hy vọng khán thính giả của Phố Bosa TV đã có thật nhiều thông tin về thể loại xe này. Và nếu à, quý vị muốn à, tham gia xem à, cái à, cuộc triển lãm này cũng như là cuộc chiến, những cuộc triển lãm trong tương lai của công ty này, à, quý vị à, có thể lên trên trang website mà ông George vừa mới chia sẻ với chúng ta. Thank you very much and uh, see you in the future. Thank you again. Nice having you.